Believe it or not, one of the most controversial subjects among cyclists is crash helmets. If you don't believe me, go to any online cycling forum or Facebook group and talk helmets and see how quickly an argument develops. But to save you time, the thread will go something like this. It usually starts with someone innocently advising cyclists to wear a helmet. Then, at some point, somebody else comes along and says that helmets don't actually contribute anything to cycling safety. The first person then says the second person is stupid, and then the second person retaliates by saying the first person doesn't know what they're talking about. And it continues like this for several hours, with a slight detour into a debate about freedom of choice, until a third person posts a picture of a cat covered in styrofoam balls. But who's right? Do crash helmets contribute to cycling safety or not? Well, there's plenty of evidence for both sides. And like most arguments, a lot of it depends on the skill of the person making their point. But as it's me making this film, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I strongly believe they do, which is why I personally always wear one. My reasoning boils down to this one simple point. If my head is going to hit the ground, I would imagine that it will hurt far more if I wasn't wearing one. In some countries, Australia and New Zealand for instance, there is no choice and cyclists have to wear a helmet by law. But in most US states and here in the UK, we're completely free to choose with the highway code only recommending that cyclists should wear one. Although, if you're under 13 and live on the Channel Island of Jersey, your parents will receive a fine if you don't wear a helmet, so that kind of sounds compulsory to me. So what are the arguments for and against wearing one? Well, apart from just general common sense, in 2001, a study concluded that a well-fitting, properly fastened helmet could reduce the risk of a head injury by 60%. On the other hand though, many people argue that wearing one can actually increase the risk of a neck injury in the event of a fall. Now while I accept this is completely possible, I personally feel that the benefits of wearing one far outweigh the risks. I've crashed a couple of times in recent years and distinctly remember the sound of my helmet hitting the ground and being very glad it wasn't my head. By contrast, I've yet to hear of anyone with a helmet getting a neck injury. I've also heard it argued that first-hand stories of how wearing a helmet has saved someone from a severe injury should be dismissed, because they're anecdotal and have no basis in science. But I'm not sure I quite understand this. After all, isn't it just someone confirming that the helmet has successfully done precisely the job that it was designed to do? Most cycle crash helmets are made from plastic and styrofoam and are only really rated to protect you in crashes up to 20 km an hour. Now most of us ride much faster than this, so technically any protection a helmet offers is reduced, but that said, I would still want one on my noggin. And then there is driver's perception. Essentially, it's argued that drivers take less care when passing cyclists wearing helmets, and it's also been claimed that cyclists too appear to take more risks when wearing a helmet. But perhaps the real heart of this particular debate is general road safety. Unfortunately, when a cyclist takes a fall, one obvious reason is because they've come into contact in one way or another with a motor vehicle. Basically, they've been knocked off. And for the record, this has happened to me personally three times, and again, I was very glad I was wearing a helmet. From what I understand of it, British cycling legend Chris Boardman is saying that wearing or not wearing a helmet is actually secondary to the bigger road safety issue. So to paraphrase, if roads were generally safer, then cycle safety would also improve. 
Now, I suppose this means things like motorists needing to be much more aware of our cyclists, giving us plenty of room when passing and sticking to speed limits. But I also think us cyclists should take responsibility for that general road safety too. So again, things like stopping at red lights, not passing stationary buses and trucks on the inside lane, and just generally being courteous and mindful of other road users. On a recent trip to London, I was amazed to see just how many cyclists there were. But at the same time, I have to say I was very saddened to see the way a few of them were actually riding. It only takes one person jumping a red light for Clarkson-esque motorists to think that we're all lycra-clad weirdos that deserve to be squashed under the wheels of the next double-decker. But as we all know, it's also possible to take a fall off the bike for many other reasons. Potholes, technical issues with the bike, slipping on ice, the list is endless. When it happens, what would you rather? As much as I believe in the benefits of wearing a helmet, I also understand that some people don't share my view. At the end of the day, our heads don't belong to anyone else, and what we do with it is completely up to us. So what are your thoughts? Do you wear a helmet? Don't you wear a helmet? Please leave me a comment below. If you found this film useful, please like and share. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads. Thanks for watching.